is going on YouTube? Welcome back to your clothing guide, the Hoxton Trend. So in this video, what I'm gonna be doing is showing you some martial artist stuff. Now the reason why I'm doing that is because when I've done this Stone Island alternative brands video, so many people hit me up and they were like, listen, saying, can you do some more reviews, get some more stuff in and show us exactly what this brand is saying? I think why people really liked it is because the price point was actually really decent. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you a whole bunch of martial artist stuff that I've got in. What you're gonna see is in the links below, I'm gonna have lots of different places where you guys can go ahead and find martial artists at really good prices, typically on sale, because I've come across some absolutely crazy, crazy deals. And a lot of that stuff is on our Facebook group, which has grown to like, I think 6,300 members. So that's got, that's really crazy at the moment. The other place where we're doing some really cool deals is our website, guys. Listen, you need to check out the website because the website is absolutely nuts. Lots of different content, lots of news and information, new releases and stuff like that. We've got an influencer style guide. Basically what we do is we find lots of really cool influencers online who just dress in all different types of ways. We put pictures of them, we get their style, we put it on our website and then our team is going around finding exactly what outfit they're wearing so you can find out what garments they're wearing. But also, obviously a lot of these influencers are wearing some big boy. Obviously a lot of these influencers are wearing some big boy garms. So what we've also done is we've put some lower price alternatives. And I'm not trying to be funny, but some of the lower price alternatives I'm actually feeling because the prices are really, really good. So make sure you check out our website, thehoxtontrend.com. I'll put a link in the description box below so you can go ahead and check that out as well, okay? And listen, don't forget we're doing daily deals on Twitter. So every single day you can get all the latest deals, all the latest sales, a lot of the stuff that I come across and my team come across online, we put it all up on the Twitter, so make sure you check that out, okay? Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment on the comments box below, and don't forget to watch the video for as long as possible, because that helps our video to spread and lets more people see the video, okay? So listen, let's get on with it. Two seconds. Oh, by the way, look, I even managed to cut my hair in the lockdown, because I was getting this real type of mad type of, I don't even know what was going on, but I managed to trim my own hair, so I think I've actually done a really, good job of it. So the first thing that I got sent was this martial artist hat. Now, I think this is an iridescent hat. I think this one, if you shine it in the light, yeah it is. It's an iridescent hat. Let's see if it even works. So basically, if, if you wear this in the night time, it will shine in the night. But I'm actually thinking, is it one size fits all? It looks a little bit too big, but you know what? It feels really nice. Let's have a look. Feels way too big, man. Yeah, feels too big. Got a Stone Island one like this. Um, which I wear quite often. What's going on with this tag, man? I like the tag is attacking me, allow it. All right, cool, here we go. What do you think? Yeah, it looks massive. It's a shame, because I actually quite like it. I just wish it was a little bit more, I just wish it was a little bit more tighter, and maybe, maybe the, the peak didn't need to be so, so big. But I think I prefer my Stone Island one, which was given to me by my guy, Mr. Sharps, and I absolutely love it. Let's just see what the difference is between the two. Yeah, this one, I think, for me, yeah, it's just got a much, more snug fit and not only that but the, the the peak is just a lot more smaller i feel like the peak on this one is a little bit too wide but in fairness there is like a there is a pull thing so let me see if that makes it let me see if that makes it a little bit more tighter let me just check let me just check all right one second one second ah uh, yeah do you know what it, it feels better when i tighten it up let me see one second yeah do you know what when you tighten it up it feels a lot more better man but i just feel like the peak is just a little bit too big. Guys, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give away one of these items and I'm gonna decide which one I'm gonna give away at the end, okay? So make sure you stay to the end of the video. I'm gonna do, a, just decided, I'm just gonna do a quick giveaway on one or two of these items. So make sure you stay tuned to the end, okay? Right, next one. Still looking fresh, still looking fresh. The next one I've got in is this martial artist top. So let's have a look at this one. I don't know why I say martial artist. It's just martial artist. But I always seem to add an S at the end, which is not right. So I really like the look at this. Yeah, that's really cool. I like that. Let's have a look what this is saying. The fit is really nice, man. Yeah, I don't mind this at all. Do you know what? In terms of quality for the t-shirt, really nice quality. Sometimes you feel some t-shirts and they don't really just feel, they don't, they feel a bit cheap on, but this has got some type of elastane. I feel like it's hugging. Uh, this is, this is my type of t-shirt. I really like this. They've got this kind of material, which is a little bit thick and it sticks out a bit. It almost feels like rubber. And I think it looks really nice. I actually, I actually quite rate this. For a summer fit, I think this is really cool. 
Right, the next one that I've got in, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Yeah, man, I like this. And what I like about the t-shirts already, I can feel it. This is a long sleeve t-shirt. I'm not really into long sleeve t-shirts, to be honest with you. I either have a sweater or a shirt. I never really have a, a t-shirt with long sleeve. I always think it's kind of funny. And what I love about this, it's got the martial artist emblem right on the side there, so that's really good. So let's check that out real quick, yeah? Two seconds. That didn't work that time, let me try again. Right, yeah. Do you know what? It feels really nice. This is a first for me because I don't usually do long sleeve t-shirts. I always think a t-shirt should be a t-shirt, you know, in the shape of a t. With the summertime and everything like that and it being quite hot during the day, I think this can actually work. Um, I like the colour. I like the simplicity of the martial artist. So there's not a lot going on. And then, boom, you've got your little emblem on the badge there, which is really nice. I believe this is a size medium. Let me just check. What's that? Yeah, medium. Now, quality-wise, 100% cotton on this one. Really nice feel. Love the fit. Sometimes you can get some um, items and the fit is just not really good. But I feel like the fit on this is actually really nice. Right, moving on to the more heavier set stuff. Obviously, being summer, it's going to be a little bit too hot for stuff like this. But... I love my sweats and I'm always thinking winter wear, even when it's bloody baking, I'm still thinking winter wear. Already I'm really liking the colour of this. I really like this kind of military green type colour, so just really intrigued. Oh wow, okay, okay. Let's have a look. 80% cotton, 20% polyester. Do you know what? Wow. Easy now. I can't wait to try this one on. Alright, cool, let's try this one on. Let's throw it up in the air and just... Okay, maybe not. Let me try this one now. Let me try this one real quick. Ah. Ah. Right, Th this is nice, I like this. This almost reminds me a little bit of Maharishi a little bit in terms of, because this little bit of patchwork here is just a different material. Then you've got the nylon um, quilt padding on the, sh um, on the elbows there. And if you look at the back, you got it on the back as well. And I think that is well nice. Even the material of this, it's not even, um, it's not even a print. It's almost like they've got some, like a heat print. It's like a rubber type material. It's got glue on the back and I'm sure they heat it onto the top and it sticks like a glue. So it is raised a little bit. This is not actually a normal print. I mean, this type of print is not this is not cheap. This is not an, a cheap thing to do. A lot of brands will not even bother doing this because it's just it's just too much effort. So to see a, a brand which is not charging mad cheese for their clothing to still spend time and do little details like this, I think is really good. Even the fact that you've got this little kind of arm patch here with martial artists, I don't know, this kind of material as well. It's almost like a Velcro felt type material. I, I kind of like the oversized fit of it and I think it actually works really well. So yeah, I, I do really like this. Right, another martial artist hoodie. This looks nice. Yeah, I like grey hoodies. Let me try this one on real quick. Right, this is it. I like this. This is nice. The only thing I would say is this is a size medium. Me being like, I don't know. I guess I'm a, I guess I'm in between a medium and large. Say my shoulders are quite like, well, not quite, they're a little bit broad, but my body's quite slim so i tend to find that hair is a little bit tight which i don't mind but then the body i might get a little bit of a little bit of bagginess there so it was a bit it was a bit funny to put on but body wise feels absolutely fine in saying that i do actually prefer the fit because it's got more of a like muscle fit it's got more of a tight slim fit around the arms which is what i like i'm loving the emblem there the, the gray color is really nice again the minimal martial artist logo on the front is really cool and obviously we've got the hoodie yeah this is nice man this is a nice simple run around easy type hoodie i'm really feeling this martial artist i think someone left a comment and they were like oh it's the poor man's stone island and i think that's really unfair i think it's really unfair that brands can be quite expensive and when a brand does come out and offer quality and they don't want to try and rip the market off by doing silly 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 pricing and that their pricing is fair that people can come and say, oh, it's it's a poor man's Stone Island because actually the time and effort and the quality that's gone into this for the price is actually really good. They're actually giving a really good offering. Although the fit for me, I think it's fine. I know I'm going to struggle taking this on and off because it just felt a little bit tight to take off. But anyway, apart from that, I think it's really good, man. Yeah, good one. Right, like this. Nice and simple, mate. Let's have a look at this one. Right, there we go. Love that. Um, t-shirt fitting for me is is wicked. The fitting of the t-shirts are so nice. Fitting for me is spot on, man. Nice, tight, slim type of fit. If you're the type of guy that... <coughs> 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 
Oh boy. The slim fitting, and you know, you work out a little bit and you want that slim fitting type of, then this is, this is perfect. This is perfect for that. 100% cotton, so don't even mix it with anything. That's, that's really rare nowadays, to be honest with you. 100% cotton. Nice little emblem there, which is really good. I would rather this than a Stone Island t-shirt myself i've got a stone island t-shirt somewhere around and i would prefer this why why would i prefer this because you don't see a lot of this i like stuff where you might not really see a lot of it even when you see i pick up montclair stone island i usually go for the stuff that you might not see too much of that's that's just my style i don't want to see the same everyone wearing the same stuff Woo someone actually asked me to get this in Pox, can you do the iridescent video of the jacket? Oh, nice, very nice. The only thing is, oh, 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 I've got to mash up the zip. Oh, nice. Remember when I had the Scar Scarabio jacket? Scarabio? I remember when I had that jacket and I've done the whole flashy video thing. This, this is taking me back there, man. This is nice. What I love about it is when I'm looking it in the, when I'm looking into the camera, it's, it looks colourful. But when I look at it with my eyes, it looks black. So that, that in itself is quite cool. So now you can just do this whole iridescent, midnight, ninja type, fisherman type look. Oh yeah. You iridescent fisherman. Both of these together is not going to work for me. When I'm, the more I look at this hat, I just think the peak is just so big. I actually do feel like a fisherman. Um, so yeah, I just wish that peak they made it a little bit smaller would have been a bit better. So this material does look water resistant, not waterproof. Remember, water resistance can take a certain amount of rain. Waterproof means no water can get through. And there's not a lot of jackets that are waterproof. Although I do have a Stone Island jacket somewhere, which is. 100% waterproof. Here it is. I'm gonna quickly show you what waterproof is. So I've got this Stone Island jacket, 100% waterproof. And how you know is because on the inside, they tape the seams. Um, I think it is really nice. It's gonna shine in all types of crazy Jason and the uh, magical Technicolor Dreamcoat style. But yeah, I, I think it's really cool. Right, I think that's it guys, to be honest with you. I've got one more item here from Martial Artists. Um, they do do tons of other colours as well. So in the shirts, they've got orange, red, yellow, like all the different colours. So they do like Stone Island, um, like CP Company, they do play around with a lot of different colours, which is what I like. And I don't typically tend to go for too much plain colours. I, I do like white stuff. This looks nice. Oh, I don't know, man. I think they ruined it with that, bro. I don't know about this. I don't know about this stitching. I don't know. Reminds me of something like C um, Calvin Klein would do back in the day. But anyway, I'll try it and see. Woo! Oof. Do you know what? This feels nice. I really love the feel of the material, man. I really like the feel of the material. Yeah, this is really nice. Really, really nice. It almost feels like I got this um, Neil Barrett couple well i've got quite a few neil barrett tops and they use this like neoprene material which is nice but sometimes it's a little bit too thick and too stiff and this almost feels like a lighter thinner version i love the way that it's a quarter zip so you've got to put it on i don't usually like that but i think for this one it's almost got this really relaxed kind of casual sports element to it which i like all this print down the side i mean in saying that the embroidery finish is really nice it's good quality, man. I like this. I like it a lot. I'm just not too sure about this. Maybe is it, is it something I can get used to? Possibly. Yeah, man. See the embroidery down the side? It, it actually doesn't look too bad, actually, to be honest with you. Um, I think most of the stuff that I got was an M, except for the military top. That one, I think, was a size large. But most of the stuff was an M, which is giving this kind of figure hugging fit, which I quite like. That is, um, that's martial artist, guys. I definitely recommend it. I think it's a good alternative for brands like Stone Island, CP Company, especially if you're, like, in the casual culture. So, listen, guys, I'm going to be doing a giveaway. So, all you got to do is jump onto our Twitter, guys, okay? Jump onto our Twitter. We've got a link in the description box below. Below. you can follow us on our twitter we will be checking to make sure that you signed up on the twitter bro so make sure you're signed up and the second thing is to visit our website go ahead and sign up to our newsletter there's a little section on the website where you can sign up to our newsletter and then every couple of weeks we'll be sending you deals and all this type of really cool stuff that is going on with the hoxton trend so make sure you sign up to that
that. Once you do that, we will be selecting a lucky winner from our email. We'll be sending out an email, so make sure you check that email because we will be notifying you who the winner is via the email, okay? That is basically it, guys. Until the next video, I'll catch you again. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. I'm out of here. Peace.